Hello, welcome to West Anime Sims. My name is Kelvin, and how are you doing? In this tutorial, I would like to teach you how to use the infamous cheat in the Sims series to help you decorate more creatively. Now, if you miss any of my tutorial videos on how to build a lot of using a lot of build tools, I have a link down in the description below of the playlist. So let's get started on what the cheat code is. Now, the cheat code that I'm referring to is move objects on. Now this heat is to allow to move any object, including sims, in the build and bind mode that usually you cannot move or you to move to places that you cannot put into. So to open up the cheat box, you press Ctrl, Shift and C and type in for sims1 and sims2 move underscore objects on for the sims3 is move objects on with no space between move objects and for the sims 4 is bb.move objects on now let's check out what are the useful things that you can do with move objects on so the first one is column counters so this one is very easy so you can use cheat this cheat to overlap different objects this is the one example that i can think of so here I have a bar, so I can put columns on the corners and you can do this with kitchens. I have here an outdoor kitchen over the columns over there and decorate the kitchen as normal. Now the second tip I have is building customized fountains. So I like to use this fountain from The Sims 2 University, but this fountain is a little bit bad way, so I can actually put another fountain to overlap it like this. Or you can put sculptures and plants and other fountains like this arrangement. Pretty nice. To add it more, enhance more of an effect, I actually put some lights underneath it to give a nice dramatic look night. The third tip I have is using plants. So for the gardening tool over here, you can actually open up different plants to give a more natural look for your landscaping. For example, using these sunflowers and fir, small fern to make a bushy landscape. Adding in trees overlap to back. You can also put bushes underneath the trees. And usually you can't put these cattails on land, but with move objects on, you can actually put them on the edge at the side of the land. Usually you can't put plants indoors, but with move objects on, you can put them indoors and you can actually create a small section of a room and aquarium by putting Full length windows, this, and with platforms or foundations, you can actually put flower beds or or some plants to or some shrubs to make a finish it off with a low fence, make a nice planter box. Another example is to put some flowers like that. If you can see there's a platform peeking out from these plants, you can actually put floor tiles to simulate a ground. You can also put plants over another story so that you can have a rooftop garden like this. You can put in some shrubs and fencing and there you have it. Our next tip is to use lighting. So in this particular wall lamp, the string lanterns, I love it so much. But without sheets, you can only put on walls. But with sheet, the sheet, you can put them over a room, across the room like this. Or you can put across fences or half walls. Here I have this string lights, you can put it on uh, foundations as well.
And another option here is to put ceiling lamps. Usually ceiling lamps cannot be put outdoors, but with this cheat on, you can put them outdoors as an alternative to outdoor lamps or wall lights. And last but not least, the tip I have is building a pergola. Now pergolas, I have tried to do using other tools before, but I'm going to use another way to build pergolas. First of all, I have columns like so, and I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this plank as found in the Sims 2 Apartment Life Extension Pack under Architectural Tools, and build a beam across the across the columns like this. You can build archways like this actually and put more columns along the sides across it have a crisscross pattern add some outdoor furnishing tables and chairs to finish the look and you're done okay here are all the tips i have in this video using move objects on sheet what do you guys think please leave me a comment and if you have any more ideas how to use these move objects on sheet please leave me a comment as well if i have enough tips we can do a part two of tutorial and don't forget to like share and subscribe to west and sims for more updates on retro sims content and turn on the notification bell for the updates thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next video bye bye